I knew somebody that was involved in the supersonic reentry program at NASA. And he said, yeah, we were trying to find out if you could fly backwards into the Martian atmosphere so you're firing your rocket engine into the direction of travel while you're slowing down. Because that's the only way you can get a bigger vehicle to the surface on Mars. Yeah. Parachutes aren't going to work. Um, Re-entering before you, uh, slowing down before you enter the atmosphere is way too inefficient. So supersonic entry is the only way to do it. But people were not sure that it was even possible because the rocket exhaust shoots out of the engine and it slams into the atmosphere and it creates this big shock wave that envelops the entire vehicle. Mm -hmm. They call it a shock bottle. And so you're flying inside of this bottle that, that surrounds you. Yeah. And they weren't sure would the bottle be stable and could you control the flight right. of the vehicle when you're decoupled from the external atmosphere by being inside of a, a shock bottle. And they, he said, yeah, we had this whole program planned. We were going to do all these simulations on supercomputers. And then we were going to drop rockets off of high altitude balloons. And then we were going to put rocket engines on high speed train sleds and fire into the direction of travel. And then finally, we were going to do it with real rockets. But and this is almost, to the best of my memory, this is an exact quote. He said, but that darn Elon just went and tried it and it worked. And they canceled our whole program. <laughs> Oh my God. Because <laughs> Elon yeah. skipped to the last step. Yeah. He just tried it with a rocket. Wow. And, and the, here's the thing. That first attempt to land on a barge sure. hit the barge and blew up. Sure. But it proved the supersonic retropropulsion worked because they got to the barge. Yep. yep. They canceled the whole expensive program even though it hit the barge and blew up. Because wow. it was a success wow. for SRP. So see, that's why early testing can save you so much yeah. money because you, you skip over so many steps that you might sure. not need.